Hi everyone, welcome to the Rube Goldberg Minecraft challenges of 2024. We are excited to share some resources with you. We know you all love these challenges, but we don't want to just say, go out there and wing it. We want to equip you. And so that is what these videos are all about. Jennifer, you are our connection with Rube Goldberg. So can you tell us what so this from, year's challenge from is? So from the source, uh, from uh, us at the Rube Goldberg Institute, the this year's competition uh, is to put toothpaste on a toothbrush in Minecraft. Awesome. And also, you know, in the real world. You should, yeah, but four out of five. That's yes. Different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, practice in the real world and then yeah. do it in my Right, build those Good skills. Good point. Excellent yeah. point. And uh, in order to make that happen, you know, this is this is the fourth year we've been doing this competition. So we've got lots of resources teaching students about the simple machines. There are slide decks, there are video content, uh, and we want to see their understanding of those simple machines be part of their build. Because if we go foundational enough, that is what every Rube Goldberg machine breaks down to. And pretty much every machine in the entire world. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's fair. Simple that's fair. machines. Yeah. At its core. <laughs> Built in. Exactly. Yep. So, but one thing you don't find in Minecraft is all these simple machines just sitting around re ready for you to plug them in. So you have to be clever and creative and come up with solutions for how are you going to make these machines happen in Minecraft? What kind of creative uh, solutions are you going to come up with to make these simple machines? So we can't wait to see what you create not only creative, but also funny and engaging and all the things ridiculous. that make up a Rube Goldberg. Yeah. Ridiculous. The laugh. more ridiculous, the laugh. better. <laughs> awesome. So please watch these videos, learn how to make the six simple machines, and we cannot wait to see all of your creations. Now we're going to talk about screws. So as I'm going through this, let's start to think about how you might um, uh, demonstrate the use of screws in Minecraft. So one thing screws do, they hold things together or or help lift heavy objects. A lot of what we've been doing so far has has worked in our favor for, for lifting things and, and that kind of thing. We're not gonna watch this video now, but this um this these videos are in the flip grid. So in other words, the video is there as well as this whole presentation. So that's available to you to find out more about screws. But a screw is essentially a simple machine that's used to change circular motion into linear motion. So when we think of that, it's like, so we're gonna do something that's gonna be screwing the screw and it's gonna basically allow us to either connect something or as it said before, lift objects. Um, as a screw twist, it's drawn forward. So the head of the screw is twisted, spinning the threads and causing the, through to, the screw to move forward. If ideas are starting to come up for you for how you could uh, demonstrate this in Minecraft, feel free to drop it in the chat. I love when the, people out there watching kind of start thinking ahead about what they might do. Um, the threads move into an object, pulling it together, and the rotation makes the shaft move forward further into the object. So I'm starting to think I have a few ideas, and Mike and I are going to play around in a little while with, um, with Minecraft and think about how we might realize the use of a screw in Minecraft. So what are some examples of screws you may see in daily lives, in your daily lives? Throw some, before I th show the pictures, um, throw some ideas in the chat about what you think of when you think of a screw and 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 how they're utilized and, and what, you know, different types of screws. A <laughs> light bulb. A what? A light bulb screws in. Ah, a light bulb does screw in, absolutely, which actually then makes for an interesting idea for Minecraft because we could take that um, idea with us. Um, here are some examples, okay? Um, when my when my daughter and I got a flat the other day and and she fixed it, she had to use a jack, which which the screw was instrumental in lifting the car up. All right. Um, so they're used when there's very little space to move around um, and also allow you to, to, to move something forward or backward, again, using that circular motion. So again, start dropping ideas in the chat for how you might, and then Mike and I are gonna play around in Minecraft. So they allow you to apply force while the simple machine remains in place. So again, with this jack example, like they, we're talking about a small area and this jack and, and using the screw allows us to to gain the leverage and and get the uh, the jack to go higher. Um, 
And again, even in tight spaces, large amounts of force can be generated. So hopefully you're starting to think about some thoughts. And with that, I'm going to look to the chat. I hope, have people been coming up with ideas yet in the chat? Because I want to see what they're coming up with. I thought I'd show, I'm going to, I'm going to switch to my screen for a second. Please. Um, I thought I would show in a, in a previous life, I did, um, I did a lot of, uh, before I was an educator, I did, um, um, construction, um, and, and, and mechanical work, uh, in sales. And so when I think of, um, a, a screw device, I actually think of, um, screws that are used to move material, um, from one place to another. This is very heavily used in, hmm. um, and the, in the aggregate industry. So aggregate is a fancy word for things like, um, pebbles or rocks or, um, concrete, um, the dry materials, um, dirt and stuff like that. It's very, screws are very widely used in those industries to transport things. So you can see there's a motor turning a, you know, what you wouldn't think of as a, as a screw, like you screw into a piece of wood, but a screw that as the material moves, as the screw is spinning, the material is actually being pushed um, along it. And it's called a screw conveyor. So these are actually super popular. Um, and I'd like to think that someone could um, make a Minecraft. And, and I would have to spend some time thinking about it. I'm certainly not going to do it in Minecraft today. But I'd like to think that someone could come up with a Rube Goldberg-ified Minecraft twist on the idea of a screw conveyor. Um, because I think that that might be an interesting application. I just, I literally looked at, this is the first image mm -hmm. I came up with for, for, yeah. for what I was looking for. And, um, I'm, it looks okay. It looks, looks like what I was kind of thinking. So the material would, would come in from maybe like uh, a different shoot up here. And as this turns, the material just comes down and down and down and goes out that way or the opposite. I mean, a screw, it's good for moving something um uh, against gravity mm. right because a lot of like conveying has to also work with gravity where this a screw will will move material against gravity um so when you're trying to bring something mm -hmm. up somewhere um this, so this see, is a very good application irrigation systems where yeah. the water goes up the screw mm. right That's see exactly now right. this this all sounds very minecraftable to me when we start thinking about conveyor belts and that sort of thing. So I think you're on to something there. Um, and you know what? I would love for, for Jennifer also to share. So we've gone through so far the incline plane, the pulley, and now the screw. And the Rube Goldberg um, Foundation, they do a live Rube Goldberg competition every year, which um, which is huge, huge success. Many, many, many people participating. Can you share some of the interesting implementations of either a lever a pulley or a screw that you that have really kind of blown you away oh on the God. physical you know it's funny i remember because each machine in the live competitions i mean we're talking about sort of the analog versus the digital and i rem and and they all have themes and they all kind of have their own narrative so uh and they all relate back obviously to the task so there was an incredible uh, machine that um, placed uh, for uh, erase a chalkboard. And in erase a chalkboard, I, you know, I saw many different ways the kids attempted to erase, uh, you know, the chalkboard, but there was one. And again, I can't tell you which simple machine was involved in this final step, but they had the blackboard and they had the eraser and behind the the chalkboard, they had a magnet. Uh -huh. and they had the eraser and the magnet, and they moved together. So my guess is there was some sort of a uh, either a pulley system behind it um, that, or or a screw even mm. that kept it going around and around and around to erase the chalk on the board. So um, that was one that was memorable. Um, there great. have been many. Um, there was one that catapulted. Uh, a, a billiard ball, which sounds absolutely terrifying, and had it gone out of range, it might have been 
but it got caught in a net and um, that was pretty clever. And they used an upside down bicycle and the wheels to get it uh, to launch. Um, gosh, there's so many and I'm drawing a sudden blank. Had, I, had I done the, the kind of memorizing and going back in time, yeah. I could have probably identified but, yeah, but I'm sure so many amazing versions of, of the use of a screw in a machine. Right. Awesome. Now, Mike, so we're running into a little thing here. So Mike and I, in our world, I think we're, we're going with the idea, at least for now, of a corkscrew. And some of this, maybe we're doing okay now, but some of the ones I have to add, let's see if this one works, because some of them we're not doing. The, see how that happens there? I think I think we have to go two each time. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Hmm. Are you doing quartz still? Is that what we're going with? Quartz to stay. Always, always, always quartz, always quartz. quartz. Quartz for life. Quartz for life. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? So we just have to. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, yeah. But that's what happens in Minecraft. What's the word, Mike? That we like. Our favorite word. I don't My know. My favorite word. What's your favorite word? Iteration. We're gonna mm -hmm. iterate. Mm -hmm. You're not happy about it because it means undoing, but in this case, but this is a good example if you notice. So we, Mike started doing this great idea for the corkscrew, but the way that the um, rail um, goes down sort of creates a little bit of an issue for us. Oh, um, it's all going away. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I like how it chips away like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this, no, that won't work either. Um, we're also going to have to consider, oh, wait. What did they say, the best laid plans? Yeah, uh, yeah, but no, now we're in another issue because I want this to go. We're also, and actually, um, there's another problem because, I mean, I, is the minecart going to? I don't think the minecart, well, it depends how much we have to power it, right? Like, in other words, let's see. It's going to get, is it, no, 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 going the other way. Yeah, no, I know. See you later. Now that's all good until you oh. fall. Until it's all fun in games until somebody falls <laughs> off a <laughs> corkscrew. Until you fall. <laughs> so that's all good. That might or may not have been intentional. I knew exactly what I was. I knew exactly what I was doing that's there. Like when Mike, when I'm, I am, when I'm, I am what you call a Minecraft expert. Yes, like when I'm playing and and I start talking and Mike buries me in a hole, like kind of like that. I don't know what you're talking about. I know. See, that's the part that's driving me. Not, uh, see, look at that. What's it doing to us? Ugh. So you have to go out one more, maybe? That is so messed up. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, well, wait. It's because of the top, maybe. There we yeah. go. That's yeah. better. Oof. Thank goodness. Oh, weird. So you know so what? It, needs to, it all needs to... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we need to wrap it around this. People watching are like, like some of the seven year olds watching are like, come on, let me in there. They I already know what <laughs> these boomers playing Minecraft. You were just called sus, Mike. I'll just have you know. I'm always sus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody said, Hi, inside participate. You're an inspiration. I was wondering. Oh, that oh, that's silly. That's not right. People are not trying to push us down. Um, let's see here. No one tries to push me down. No, uh, try to push me down, but not uh, like... Um. So okay. Can't have extra blocks though. Just trying to see what the pattern is truly. That work? Pop, 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 pop. pop. Oh, you're good. I think I think three, one, two, three. I just hope that we don't. I think. I mean, technically, going down shouldn't be a problem, right? But if we wanted to go up, we'd need yeah, this will this will this will this will totally work. Yeah. This is a screw. It'll at, at the very least, it looks like a screw. That's what we're going for. So we're we're the, all about the thing, we're all about thing. symbolism. If, well, no, but here's the thing: if in a Rube Goldberg machine in Minecraft. If you were seeking to like almost meeting the description of a screw that I was talking about, which is transporting something um, against gravity 
um, up um, a, a, a screw um, would be the way to do it. And so, you know, we suspect, I suspect that a lot of people are going to use in, in kind of the ultimate Rube Goldberg, a lot of the, the vehicle is going to be a mine cart uh, mm -hmm. in a lot of people's cases. So, I mean, our application of a screw, especially if it's transporting a, let's say, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to load anybody up with ideas or anything, but if you were to put a chicken in the mine <laughs> cart, and then, and then, um, and then you could, you could move it from uh, a lower space to a higher space. The, the other thing is with the sure. like automated farming idea and maybe, you know, something um, using that screw idea to, to carry the crops or something. And then at the end, when the crops make it into, um, you know, let's say a hopper or something where something could be activated also. Um, I'm guessing you could do interesting things with, um, uh, what are they called? The Redstone Observers in terms of the whole Rube Goldberg idea. My kids, one of the things I love that they do a lot is they'll do the old trick with the um, the the zombie chasing a villager. And then by virtue of the villager being chased on like a tightrope, it, it will stay on course, but then it might step on a pressure plate and something will happen. That's not necessarily related to the screw directly, but just when it comes to the chain reaction stuff. I won't lie. This looks pretty good. <laughs> I, I think that looks pretty cool. Would you say sure you as far as saying rad? I'd say it looks pretty rad. It, it looks dope even. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know, yeah, it does look dope. And then we do that. All right, now you're going to ride down it to see. And oh, notice it's too bad that you can't do a T. You, actually, you can. What? We got to figure that out. Yeah, you can. Oh man, with with either command blocks or with um with a detector you rail. You can do switchers. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that do it? Isn't that what you're talking? Or you're I mean, talking? Yeah. But a switch would work. A switch. Yeah. Yeah. You could. You could make some so sort of switch. take it for its, its uh, maiden voyage. I'm just gonna push it. Oh, I I want to do this this yeah 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 boom there it goes people <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, that, that makes me feel pretty good yeah we have fun don't we <laughs> <laughs> there will be more added to I, this i was of course on mute and you couldn't hear me saying that's oh, rad <laughs> now, it is rad and it's kind of we're staying with the idea too of keeping these together. Now, this will be interesting, Mike, because with what you said about the switch, I think it would be even radder wow. if, <laughs> if we made it so that it comes up, you know, it has to go past this, and then in some other part of our machine, it comes back and switches or something, and that's when it goes down the screw. So it truly uses both, you know, everything we've got built here to begin with or something like that or at least has the option, but we'll figure that part out. Can any of these blocks be mm. this one? What if we put, should we put like iron fence around it or anything to make it even oh, look? Yes, it'll have to be, it'll have to be that block. <laughs> uh, a, I'm curious how many of these An ice pusher. So Brian's saying, Fill a mine chest, minecart chest with ice blocks, and then dump them in a cold into a cold drink at the end. There you go. Mm. That actually, that, you're you're going places where uh, you're going to do just fine in this. Yeah, that's a Brian. great suggestion. Yeah. Mm. So I have another question. Yes. I'm yes. A lay lay person. Um, could it be that the that the sort of gray screw like. Uh, thing that you've created could that drill down or so, is it stationary that's a great question so the drilling down part is something i've been thinking that would be a great um way to demonstrate a screw and that could be done through using something called um you know redstone command blocks and uh, -huh. uh pistons 
So with a piston, they could make it seem like it's drilling down, which would be very interesting. And then it would become sort of like its own escalator. Yeah. In fact, I wonder if I could find uh, one of my students, um, uh, and he's on the stream even, um, M.M. King. Do you have, I had a video, I think. Do you have the video of your, of the escalator? If you could put the Flipgrid video, if, if it's a link to that in the um, micking, M micking, micking, micking. Um, and we have to uh, have a drink, Mike, for hermit fish. I have a little bit of coffee left. I, I should have my water, but I don't. They want us to hydrate. I hydrated during the video. Oh, good, good. Micking, if you could drop that link in there, MK King, MK King. Um, but you know who I mean, MK King. If you could drop the link to your Flipgrid here, I'll show it because um, I was quite pleased with you and Kevin and also, you know, my myself. I, I played a small part in <laughs> in that, <laughs> but it, but it really a small part. All right, let's get that going. But we do it. So yes, but I love your idea of the, and hopefully people are listening because the use of um, pistons to to demonstrate um, a drilling effect would be perfect. Um, we have to hydrate a lot, Mike. Yeah. Four four hundred participants points worth. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, can I'm going to show this now? If you let's see here, copy. Oops, let's see. All right, here we go. Um, all right, I am going to show their escalator. Are we ready? Yeah. Hi, welcome to our pulley project. Right now, I'm going to go into uh, one of our three elevators. First, we got our bubble Not exactly, elevator. not all three are elevators, actually. One of them, <laughs> bubble elevators, you have magma blocks at the bottom. To and make it so that you can it goes up. And also, I found out that you could, uh, if you just make this an infinite water source, it will automatically have the bubbles. Yeah. So now you're going to go over to the um, bottom one. Exactly the same, except. Same except, uh, wait, no, the other one had soul stone actually. Yeah, this so one has soul, magma blocks. Soul sand. Soul sand. No. <laughs> or they're like Abbott and Costello. Our um, elevator here. Have this. Light up a little. Okay. You see? Here. Oh, wait, wait. Well, it failed. That's okay. Ahead. Show the escalator. Let's see the escalator. Now the down. And now I'm machining. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the Oh, that one works. That's good. That's demonstrating a pulley so for, through the like elevator. I'm using uh, observer blocks and like piston pistons around the back. Can you come right out? Yep. Lastly, and you have to use obsidian because it's all, that's the thing that it's not an immovable block. Immovable block. It's an immovable block. Here we have our main attraction. We have the escalator. So here you set a stand on the four block and you just play get keepers. We built this using command. command. Command, we use the command block, uh, let's see. And then you're right the under here. And then we have the down one. Right the down the one. So it's a completely functional escalator. It's extremely satisfying. <laughs> it feels extremely satisfying. <laughs> yeah. It sure does. <laughs> That's, so That's awesome. great. Yeah. So that was, um, you know, it, that was super cool. Um, I really enjoyed, you know, watching them get that to the end um so to get it to work because it was a function of um command blocks and moving the player and all uh really cool stuff really cool stuff so good job mick mk king or mick king or you know all that 
But um, so there we have it. So let's take a look at the wedge as a simple machine. So uh, a wedge is a device that is thick at one end and tapers down to a thin edge at the other end. And it could be uh, helpful to think of it as an inclined plane, but in this case, it is the inclined plane that moves uh, and not the thing going up or down to the inclined plane. So sometimes we can put a handle on it like this one uh, and actually swing the inclined plane uh, to do work. Uh, and it may be cutting, like we see the ax cutting this log, and of course the ax exists in Minecraft, but it's not just cutting that a wedge can do. So there is a video in here, and uh, you're welcome to do it. We will share this PowerPoint like we've done all the others in the Flipgrid. Uh, but here we see, at least in this startup, uh, some examples of the wedge. And if you look at that one under the forklift tire, uh, it's not cutting anything. It's preventing motion, in this case, by wedging itself beneath the wheel. Another simple machine. We're going to skip that. Um, so uh, a wedge is basically a triangular tool often made of metal, wood, stone, or plastic as thick on one end and tapers to thin at the other. So that's simplifying it even further. Uh, so here's an example of one. Uh, this knife, for example, is an example of a wedge uh, used for cutting, where if we think about the knife blade, it's thick at the back end and thin at the front end. Uh, of course, again, going back to Minecraft, there are examples of blades that are thin on two ends, but the center of the wedge is thicker. Uh, so if we think of like a um, broadsword, right? And there are swords in Minecraft. Uh, it may be sharp on both sides, uh, but the center is thicker. So it's really two wedges back to back uh, attached at the center. Uh, and here's how the force works, right? So every time we've talked about simple machines, we've talked about force uh, and the change in direction or motion or work that it does. Uh, so using the ax as an example, again, a Minecraft example, uh, we can look at how it splits wood by changing the direction of that force. So as we slam that ax into a piece of wood, we're changing the direction outward, uh, splitting the piece of wood apart as that wedge goes deeper and deeper into the wood. Uh, but it can be used in many ways, and we'll talk about some of these. So it can obviously be used to cut, like we saw the axe doing, or a sword would do, uh, or split, like splitting wood with an axe, for example. Uh, it can be used, however, to tighten and hold back, like we saw the uh, wedge underneath the car tire to stop it from moving. Um, it can be used to hold together, and we'll look at an example of that uh, on the very next slide, uh, or to scrape. And by the way, there are some examples of that in Minecraft as well. If we think of the, the hoe tool, uh, as one that scrapes the grass off the ground, prepping the soil for us to do gardening. Uh, again, an example of a wedge. So let's look at some examples. Uh, but before we go on to that next slide, real quick, uh, let's see if our community can throw some examples in the chat that they know of, maybe not including the ones I just mentioned. Let's see what pops up in there. I thought I saw cake wedge, whatever that is. No, no, there's like that cake cutting tool. It's not quite, maybe like the one that the grocery store gives you with your cake, that plastic sort of half spatula, <laughs> half cutter thing, right? A shoe wedge was Yeah, mentioned. Yeah, like the shoehorn is definitely a shoe wedge. It's a wedge. See, now they've got everyone thinking about cake. Mm, a wedge cake. of cheese is technically a wedge. And I loved that that was actually in the Rube Goldberg illustration. Uh, but here are some examples, right? And we definitely talked about the sword already. That one has two wedges back to back in this case, but uh, other swords don't. Like a samurai sword only has the blade on one side. It's a single wedge. Uh, we may not think of like a nail as a wedge, but it is, right? It's, it's thin at the tip and then gets wider. And its goal is actually to hold things together. Uh, up there, that doorstop is just like the example we saw under the tire with the forklift uh, and a razor. Uh, even though, yes, we say a blade is, uh, we can argue that a razor is doing both sort of cutting and scraping at the same time. Uh, of course, wedges are used to cut things other than just solid materials, right? We could think of the aerodynamics of a car, like this car, being designed to cut through the air. Right? And that is where that aerodynamic principle comes from. Of course, not just cars, but planes and boats and so on, or any kind of vehicle or, or even an arrow flying through the air uh, is a wedge that's literally cutting through air, which is still, of course, matter. But that is the basic sound principle of aerodynamics. Uh, here we see an example of looking at single and double wedges uh, a kind of another way. Right, so if we look at the single wedge on the right, kind of like that doorstop, or maybe even a single blade from a pair of scissors, 
And then the double wedge is sort of like that axe blade, right? Where it splits and pushes out in both directions, to the left and to the right. Both, of course, still wedges. Uh, and then, of course, we've talked about with the other devices, whether it was pulleys and having multiple pulley systems, or it was the inclined plane where we talked about the length or the uh, incline itself of that plane. Uh, there are ways to change the mechanical advantage of a wedge uh, by making it um, if it's longer and thinner and the tip is of course sharper and thinner we are increasing the mechanical advantage of that wedge and its ability to kind of change that direction of the force and do the work it's intended to do so that brings us to the question as always how can we represent a wedge in minecraft how indeed there are ways to create these things mm. um, in all sorts of ways based on your knowledge of the game. It's it, Amateurs can do it and pros can do it alike. So that's Absolutely. what we love about it. All right, so I'm actually way down below the sign right now. And of course the merchant came over to bother me, but that's okay. Because uh, uh, one of the things that we saw in that first video, and, and I was surprised to see it, especially since that's what we're gonna be kind of talking about, but on a far more basic level than what that team did, um, is they used wedges, right? So they had that kind of spinning group of armor stands uh, with the swords attached. And of course the sword is a wedge and they were using it to demonstrate how wood could be cut using that. Uh, so we thought we would share a basic build of something like that, that you could utilize in your builds and teach you how to make it very simply. And then of course, maybe we'll add it up to our rail based on time above, of course, uh, and see if we can make it part of our machine. So we're going to animate some armor stands because I can pull an ax out of my inventory, right? And I got my little ax here, right? <laughs> we, uh, but wandering around and cutting stuff isn't making for a great Rube Goldberg machine. It should be kind of automated. So let's have something more automated do the work. So I'm gonna start by putting two blocks down right here. And on each of those, I'm gonna put an armor stand. And I'm gonna give them both something to cut with. So they both get an X, right? Now that's not very exciting. We've got some statues <laughs> with axes. Uh, I'm gonna throw a redstone torch on the front of each. Uh, and the goal of that of course is to power this once we've got it up and running. And I'm gonna grab some uh, redstone comparators and we just need three of them. So the first one is gonna be placed just behind the two blocks over here, right? And I'm facing this direction. I'm then gonna come around the back and place one here and place one here. In, in facing the opposite way. Right, those two are facing the opposite way, right? So if we look at the double part of it, right? The switch, uh, this one is facing, the first one is facing away or towards us, then away from us, then towards us again. They, they yeah. basically keep reversing. And do you want to, do you want to note um, the positioning of the, of the... Yeah, we can basically... Just right. Right. So we're going to leave it aware. just as it is. Right. We don't have aware. to do anything to it right now. Uh, I'm going to throw some redstone down the middle here, which is going to get powered that middle one, of course, uh, from the redstone torches. But we want to power these two as well. So we're literally just going to do a line of redstone across the back. And when we do, our statues have, or our armor stands have come to life. <laughs> Right now, again, they're not doing any work right now per se, uh, but a lot of what makes for a fun Rube Goldberg machine is the presentation itself. So we can kind of model, you know, that, and we saw some of this, right? When that spinning group of blades was going on in that first video, uh, it was sort of just modeling what that would look like. And we'll, we'll add some leaves, make these pretty trees and look like they're, they're busy hacking away at these trees. Now, if we wanted these to actually maybe look like or dispense wood as they cut. <laughs> it looks we, like a musical, like like right? like like <laughs> they they were going to cut trees, but then a song broke out and yeah. they started dancing instead. They're kind yeah, of it's it's, it's it's very Disney to be cutting trees to music, right? I think right, that's... right. That's what that's what happened here. They they meant yeah, yeah. to cut they had every intent to cut trees. Um uh, exactly. you know but you know song happened. Right. So if we look in between those redstone torches at the redstone on the ground, uh, the comparators are causing that kind of power source to pulse, right? Which means we can keep adding to it and things can keep happening as they're doing it. So for example, if we throw a dispenser down here between our trees, it's connected to those two now. And if I right click on that and let's throw 
uh, those oak logs in there. Every time they go through that cutting animation, uh, it's not working. It was working earlier. I was ready Let's, for it, too, because I knew what was going to happen. I, I, I just realized what was happening. Let's move it a block forward. You tell me if I'm going crazy. There it goes. Oh, there it is. Yep. And so now it's this is a kind of wood cutting machine that's spitting out wood. Right. And of course, we saw in that second video uh, that some of our teams were able to use dispensers to kind of power and automate their machines. Right. Whether that was the mine cart going up or, you know, that water screw that they had made, they used that in a variety of ways. So if you knew how to do that, uh, you could add this to the build as sort of part of the machine and, and since so much of what will be scored on these Rube Goldberg machines is really down to presentation, right? Because that's that zaniness is really what they're all about. Uh, what a great way to add them. And of course, if you know anything about the armor stands, uh, we can sort of doll them up a bit. So if we wanted to, in the spirit of current events, you know, in current holidays, uh, if we wanted to maybe zombify these guys, there we go. Although I just accidentally gave that guy a wood block, or somebody did. That's not going to cut. They don't give him his axe back. And so we've got this wood cutting machine that's dispensing wood, which is pretty cool. Uh, we could add this to the things we've already created. So if we're going to fly up here to our rail, we could do the exact same machine powered uh, using detector rail, which is another thing we saw in the video, in one of the videos. Actually, I think in both of the videos, uh, the same way. So we could add our armor stands. We'll we'll throw them an axe. Uh, we'll get rid of this rail in between them here. And instead of um, the torches to power this, we're going to use the detector rail to, to power this. Uh, so I'm going to grab some detector rail, which I got. And let's see if I can do this right on the first try. And we'll throw some down here in front of them. And we'll the again, change randomly. It does. We can I turn that it. off, but I like the weather. Oh, I love the weather. I was like, wow, it's raining in New York too. Ah, right. So <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing with our redstone comparators here in the back. Again, like inverting the middle, uh, middle one different from the outside ones. We'll put redstone here. We'll throw redstone to connect all three on the back. And if we grab a mine cart, I don't know if there's already one on this tracks. So there is. Literally right beside it. Uh, I don't leave. Oh, don't no. Leave mine cart. What did you do? I pushed it. <laughs> can I, I can I turn it around? Nope, I'm already on my way. <laughs> uh, fire. Well, if you, it's going to come around again. But if you've got another one. <laughs> oh, it's not making it up the hill, so oh, it's going to come back. <laughs> there you go. You This worked out. So I have, right. a, I have a question. All by design. Yeah, go for it, Steve. So the so I just made it also. I was just playing around, and I have the and you know the one the, the build go. that you have has the comparator, but then I built a, an extra armor stand, and I did not have the same. I, I guess that you only need that one. I see what it is actually. You only need that one comparator that's facing the other way to kind of right. toggle it on and off. Is that what's happening? Yes, um, and, and again, this is definitely as we saw in the video, even not the only way. Uh, to make right. this happen. It's one of literally awesome. like several dozens of ways to make to animate armor stands. In fact, um, if you're really good at them, there are ways to actually choose the frames of animation you want and have it animate in exactly the way you want, which wow. takes a lot more work. Uh, but it is doable. It's amazing. Fun, yeah. fun, fun, well, fun. Yeah, it's a big fun one. And again, we could do that same thing. I'll, I'll hop off this cart. Uh, but we could do that same thing and add our trees on the other side and add our uh, dispenser and all of that. And that way this rail would lead to another event in our machine. Do I really have to decorate the trees again? I feel always like absolutely inclined to make them look like trees. Okay, so we got some trees. And we'll throw down uh, that extra bit of redstone and the thing there, the dispenser. And let's throw our oak log. Oh, I need to get some more oak logs. Uh, we'll just grab some wood block. And we'll 
I'll throw those in there. And of course, if we get on the cart, and I went the wrong way. Bye, everybody. <laughs> it's coming back down. Luckily, we don't have a lot of power on these inclines. Nice. Yeah. So we, we've <laughs> added a dispensing wood cutting machine uh, to our build. Well, that is awesome. I'd like to hear from the chat what ideas people have for wedges. Like, I want to see a I want to see a door stopper, but I don't know if that's the 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 teams like the Redstone. Um, is it the Redstone experts and uh, Cool Cat? And Jay, I bet they'll come up with something very interesting. Oh, you know, we've we've seen incredible builds across the board. Uh, and, and to be honest, even those who are just kind of learning for the first time who are utilizing some of the things that we are showing, uh, it seems like they're taking it always one step further than yep. we've taken it, which is really what we're hoping for. But I would I, I do ask the chat, what ideas do you have now for for interesting ways you can incorporate wedges? And while you're thinking and typing hopefully some good ideas. Um, notice what we've been trying to do, which I think Eric illustrated by putting our wedge up here is we're trying to combine all of our simple machines because later when we get into um, you know, creating a full Rube Goldberg machine, the idea is to have, you know, interconnected um, you know, uh, machines you know, or, or a chain reaction. So the more simple machines we could build into that, the better. And a flood stopping wedge. I like that idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Automatic combine of chopper no. of crops. That sounds great. Can the, that's an interesting question. If the, so the armor stand though. Yeah. We, like if we did have, we, it, it would not chop even like if it was in a farm, it wouldn't chop the wheat down for us, would it? It just it's all just an I animation. have not found a way to do that, but I wouldn't be surprised if the community right. had, a, had a way to do it. I, I genuinely uh, have not. I don't think the, the sword on an armor stand interacts with things. Right. Know. So it's really just more of an animation, but it's definitely. But I feel like if you know command blocks but, or code well enough, yeah, you, you could create well, that animation kind of flawlessly. Yeah, I was going to say what you could very much do is have it look like the armor stand character is the farmer and then do the automated farming like you say, without like without being without it being like the dispenser could be dispensing maybe the water or something, whatever it would be. Yeah, cool. exactly. Love it. I was thinking about the, this water stopping thing because I think that that's an interesting idea. You could do a a water a water releasing hopper or a, a dispenser like we've seen before where it triggers water coming out of the dispensers and then um, maybe have the redstone run up and drop down from, from above dispensers with like sand or something um, that drop down and, and, and that would actually stop the water. And I guess that mm. would be a wedge maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to think That's wedges, pretty good. Are, wedges are, wedges are tough. And we thought, we thought pulleys were super tough and then teams, came up with very creative uses of pulleys. So they really, really did. It is and, and I'm curious to see how the wedges that are exist in the game get utilized, right? So so some wedges that we didn't talk about that are in the game are things like shears, for example, right? Which are two wedges mm. connected by an axle. Uh, scissors, same deal, right? It's two, two wedges connected by an axle. And of course there are things that you can use the shears for, multiple things in the game, whether it's for the sheep uh, or now of course with the bees to collect the honeycomb. So. There mm. are you, ways of shear, you can you can shear tree the tree leaves as well. Yeah. So I'm um, curious to see if anyone's up using the shears, right? Because uh, that's one I hadn't even really considered until earlier today. I think we're going to get some interesting things happening over the next couple of weeks. Shears. I do like the idea of an automatic combine that yeah. was thrown in the chat. And and I also like the idea of the rockets. So yes, you were one hundred percent right on that one. <laughs> That's awesome. They're very festive woodcutters. Yes, yes, yes. Well, and think about that's another thing about you know the fun of all this. I I have an interesting idea too that could kind of make our our idea come to life 
no pun intended. And I think you did this, actually, you did this in the example you were showing me the other day, is when you had a um, a rail cart, um, it was being activated by an activator rail. So, right. you know, I could see having some long, you know, roller coaster part of the inclined plane come down to the bottom, trigger something, and then see this huge line of dancing armor stands you know, that with, with cool. axes, and then we get our wedge in there, and then just as sort of an entertaining animation as you get to the next part. Yeah, that that would be really really cool. And again, I, I, it's one of the few things that really has like a, a like a massive animation in the game. So I love seeing it because it just brings things.